Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good morning, my student. I am Dr. A. T. Mustafizur Rahman, Assistant Professor, Department of Surgery, Boshundhara Adin Medical College Hospital, Dhaka. Today, I will discuss an important topics for your exam and day to day practice. This topics is called back pain. I discuss briefly the low back pain. It has been estimated that about 80% population suffers from low back pain sometimes during their lifetime. All physicians are called at least occasionally to advise patient complaint with low back pain. A systemic approach is sometimes needed for better diagnosis, treatment and good outcome. Now I tell some important causes of back pain, especially the low back pain. Most of the cases is uh, the cause of mechanical strain. It is the most common cause of low back pain. Second most common cause is infection. Some infection includes pyogenic osteomyelitis, spine tuberculosis or TB spine. Sometimes patient may suffer with infection like brucellosis. Then another causes is degenerative disease. Degenerative disease includes osteoarthritis, rheumatoid arthritis and ankylosing spondylitis. Another cause is trauma. Trauma is the one of the important cause of uh, low back pain like PLID, prolapsed lumbar intervertebral discs, spondylolisthesis and fracture of spine. Another cause is metabolic like osteoporosis. Another cause is anatomical abnormalities. It is maybe developmental like congenital disease, like spinal stenosis, spina bipeda and sometimes spinal scoliosis. Another cause is tumor. Tumor is two types. One is benign, another is malignant or secondary tumors. Primary tumors includes hemangioma. It is a uh, blood vessels tumor. Benign bone tumor like osteoid osteoma, osteoblastoma, aneurysmal bone cyst like ABC tumor, giant cell tumor, multiple myeloma. It is the one of the important cause of bone pain in elderly patients. Lymphoma, neuroblastoma and sometimes teratoma is the primary tumor of the bones of the spine. Secondary tumor like metastatic tumor, it arises from thyroid gland, breast, lungs, kidney, prostate and sometimes intestines. Another cause of low back pain is gynecological cause like PID pelvic inflammatory disease, dysmenorrhea, uh, 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 um, uterine prolapse, 
retroverted gravity uterus pregnancy is the one of the cause of low back pain and some pelvic mass it arises from uh, ovary uterus and pelvic adenexa and pelvic colon another causes of low back pain is retroperitoneal origins like renal calculi renal infections like pyonephrosis perinephric abscess pancreatitis is the one of the cause of low back pain or back pain renal tumors like renal cell carcinoma this common cell carcinoma pancreatic carcinoma is the one of the cause and aneurysm of the abdominal aorta the most common causes of low back pain is mechanical it about 40 to 50 percent case when we classify any of the disease it's divided initially in two types one is congenital another is acquired acquired is subdivided into different types like traumatic inflammatory neoplastic metabolic and miscellaneous then what is the pathophysiology of back pain or low back pain the pathophysiology is two types one is narrowing of the nerve root canal like root compressions another is spinal canal stenosis the cord compressions this is the basic pathophysiology of back pain root compression and cord compression what is the clinical presentations of low back pain or back pain back pain is usually felt in the lumbar area and may radiate to the buttocks and back of the thigh pain in the upper lumbar area may radiate to the front of the thigh low back pain radiates down to the posterior aspects of the leg in most common presentation in case of sciatica pure back pain due to very seldom radiates to below the knee pure back pain very seldom radiate below the knee these pains are includes or insidious in origins burning or electrical pricking in nature increases in coughing sneezing and bearing down during bowel movements and prolonged standing and standing is the predisposing cause usually relieves by rest acute pain in the back is usually due to sudden disc herniations following injury sudden onset of pain in the back with shadel anesthesia and altered bowel and bladder function is called Florida equina syndrome sometimes we questions in viva vote what is called equina syndrome which is the true orthopedics emergency corda equina syndrome is an emergency in orthopedics ward back pain in children should be think a serious underlying conditions when a patient below 10 to 12 years with back pain we think something very serious conditions 
in the back. Low back pain, especially at night, that prevent sleeps and uncontrolled pain, not relieved by usual pain killer or usual analgesics, most likely spinal tumor or infections may present in these regions. Now we examine the patients. We examine the patients in our ward or in our chamber practice. We expose the patients from umbilicus to foot regions. Complete physical examination will give a clue to the level of pathology. We examine the patients in look, feel and moves ma maneuvers. Looks, during looks, for any muscle wasting or deformity we can detect. Feel, muscle bulk, joints, tenderness and tenderness over the back. Then we examine the patients in different maneuver or movements. The spinal flexion may be limited. A straight leg rising test, SLR, positive test uh, disclosed lumbosacral root compressions, cross sciatic tensions sometimes may present and sometimes century losses may present like paresthesia or paralysis. Then we examine the patients in reflexes like patellar tendon reflex. It means involvement of the L4 nerve roots. Then weakness of the dorsiflexion of the ankle includes involvement of the L4 or L5 nerve roots. And Dorsiflexion or diminished ankle jacks include S1 nerve roots involvement. Dorsiflexion of grade 2 weakness means involvement of the L5 nerve roots. Then we investigate the patients. Before going to investigate, we counsel the patients. for the modalities of the treatments and cost of investigations. Initially, we do an X-ray in lumbosacral regions in both views. We see the X-ray, the narrowing of the disc space presence of osteophytes, presence of any muscle spasms, presence of any secondary deposit in the vertebral bodies, presence of any fracture or displacement, presence of spina bifida, presence of any osteoporotic lesions, we see we think our mind in lumbosacral spines, x-ray in both views. Then we do the complete blood count to see the any acute or chronic infections in the blood. Sometimes we examine, we investigate the patients like rheumatoid factor, HLA B27, serum uric acids, any other else. The sophisticated investigations include the MRI, 
MRI is the good investigations for diagnosis of PLID or disc herniations or any other lesions in the spine. It is very useful diagnostic test to identify the disc bulge, disc prolapse at different levels of the spinal cord, narrowing of the spinal cord and cord compressions. Sometimes we do CT scan. It is useful to detect root compressions. Sometimes we do some investigations like bone scan, BMD, bone mineral densitometry and DXM. This is the investigations of choice in low back pain. Now we tell the management of back pain. The management includes in two divisions. Initial is medical management and another is surgical management. In most cases, medical management resolves back pain. This line of treatment includes the rest in bed, preferable in herb or orthopedic bed. Then we include the analgesics like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs with gastric mucosal protection like H2 blocker, proton pump inhibitors and any other else. Then we include the muscle relaxants like beclomethophen, uh, beclopen. Then uh, sometimes we include the anxiolytics drugs and we do some physiotherapy like hot compressions over the back regions. Sometimes we added the pelvic tractions, short wave diathermy and care of back muscles. When we go, go to surgery, the indications of surgery includes when medical management is failed, prevent disc prolapse, spinal tumors, tuberculosis not response to uh, usual chemotherapy, spinal stenosis, scoliosis, spondylolisthesis and paraplegia, paraparesis or bladder dysfunctions during corda equina symptoms. This is the indications of surgery in low back pain. Which surgery we will perform? Surgery includes in case of disc prolapse like laminectomy and discectomy. Sometimes we perform fenestrations and discectomy or microdocectomy or percutaneous discectomy. Sometimes we will perform the laser discectomy. In case of a spinal tumor, what types of surgery we will do? We do excision of the tumor if possible, followed by radiotherapy, sometimes combination therapy like chemotherapy or hormone therapy. In case of tuberculosis, we will do the decompression of the granuloma tissue 
and bone graft and followed by anti-tubercular chemotherapy at least 12 to 18 months. In case of a spinal stenosis, we do the decompression of the nerves root and in case of central canal stenosis and removal of the compression of the central canal. In case of spinal scoliosis, correction of scoliosis and fusion of the bone fusion by using of herring tone rods. Spondylolisthesis when the patient present with spondylolisthesis, we will perform the decompression of the bones and correction of the deformities. In case of Porta Equina syndrome, it is an orthopedics or neurosurgical emergency. We correction the we correct the problem by decompression of the spinal cord immediately, usually within 24 hours. At least surgery is needed in case of different pathologies when patient present in late cases. Now I will conclude the presentations. In conclusions, I will say it is the most common orthopedics and neurosurgical problems about 30 percent patients attend to orthopedic outpatient department with low back pain systemic approach is necessary to diagnose the case most of the cases can be treated by medical management those who require surgery should be done in a specialized center Corda equina syndrome is a surgical emergency. Decompression should be done within 24 hours. Thank you, my students, to uh, join these lectures and uh, take my masses. I will thanks again and again. Goodbye, take care of your patients. Thank you.